Poe Boy Special here with the highly controversial question 40 caliber or 9mm? Which is better? Coming right up. When comparing two rounds against each other, you obviously have to look at the size. And you see here that the 40 caliber is obviously bigger than the 9mm, which leads us to the logical conclusion that size really does matter. And size obviously makes a difference in the amount of damage or the size of the damage that each one would make. And in this illustration you can see the small little holes from a 9mm or the larger hole from the 40 caliber. I know, let's not just take my word for it. Let's ask an expert. Uh, number one, if I was a police officer, I'd want a 40. Uh, I'd, want a, I'd want a 40 millimeter, you know, because that, if somebody's shooting at me, I want them to stop shooting at me as quick as I can get them to stop shooting. So I want a good power gun that's going to take them down, but it's not going to go through three walls and kill some innocent bystander. Right. You know, so yeah. that's the way I would look at that, but. So according to Gunny, of all the calibers, he chose for law enforcement the 40 caliber because like he says, if he wanted to stop somebody in a hurry, the 40 caliber does get the job done without going through several barriers and walls. Let's ask another expert. The 40 caliber was invented as a result of the 1986 FBI Miami shootout. What is the 86 Miami shootout, you ask? Essentially, two gunmen were involved in a shootout with eight FBI agents. The gunmen were hit six and 12 times before being incapacitated. So, the FBI contracted Smith & Wesson, who teamed up with Winchester to produce the 40 s &W, which leads to my first point. It has a bigger bullet than the 9mm and is faster than the 45, giving it more energy than both. It's science. The 40 is the bigger, faster, stronger option, which is essentially American. Please. After extensive testing, here are the results. If you shoot somebody with a 9mm, it's like nothing happened. If you shoot somebody with a 45, it knocks them down. But if you shoot someone with a 40, All right, made up your mind yet? So let's ask another expert and watch a testing on angle deflection from a windshield. There's what a 9mm will do to a windshield, and if we look at the point of impact, it's about 2 inches below the X. Now there's also another marking here that is not penetrated, but there's the actual hole itself. Also shoot, shot through my camera stand. But uh, it did, it, it dropped about two inches at fairly close range. So let's take a look at the 40 Smith & Wesson and see what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna place this right above the nine millimeter shot. All right, let's take a look. Looking at the two shots, we can see 9mm right here, 40 Smith & Wesson right there. The bullet point of impact did not drop at all. Actually, it was right where I was aiming. So as we saw in that video, when he shot the 9mm, it had about a 2-inch angle of deflection. And when he shot the 40 caliber, as he said, it was pretty much right on the money, right where he was aiming. So the 9mm had about a 2 inch difference. Well how about the difference in the recoil? A lot of people say that the 40 caliber has too much recoil 
more so than the 9mm, that the 9mm is much more pleasant. And, well, how do you feel about the recoil of the 40 or the 9? Well, if you think that the 40 caliber is too much, listen to this. Maybe we should chug on over to Mamby Pamby land where maybe we can find some self-confidence for you, you jack wagon. Tissue. Cry, baby. So are we really going to choose the stinky 9mm or are we going to choose the real 40 caliber? Even Medea likes the 40. Alright, for all of you that wants a bigger round that makes a bigger hole and has better performance. That's right, you chose the 40 caliber over the 9mm. And for all of you 40 caliber fans now, you said, Yeah, can I get a beep? Yeah. So you chose the 40 on the Po' Boy Special Channel.